In order to get a consistent set of imagery for our Growing to a History project, we draw cartoons of Second Amendment advocates. We draw these live during our daily gun show podcast and sometimes in multi-hour marathon live chats we call 2A Media Workshops. Our goal is to share the skills and techniques and the software that we use to create these and to inspire others to create Second Amendment content. In this series, we'll speed up the drawing of these cartoons so it's almost animated and we'll focus on the activists and the projects that they represent. And this week, we're going to draw Margaret Thompson Murdoch. This is the first markswoman in history to win an Olympic medal. She was born in 1942. She learned to shoot by following her dad to the range. Oh, and she attended Kansas State University. She uh, competed on the men's rifle team. There was no women's rifle team. Uh, she won two Big 8 conference championships. She was the first female uh, athlete at the college to win a to earn the varsity letter. She spent four years in the U.S. Army assigned as a shooting instructor at Fort Benning. She left as, the, as a major. Now I don't know because there's not enough biographies about women like this out there when this all happened, but in 1966 she attended the World Championship in a women's standard rifle. She was the first woman to, attend, to uh, win an individual in the World Opium Championship. In 1967, she won two gold medals in small bar rifle at the Pan American Games and set a world record for men and women in kneeling rifle shooting. In 1976, she was the first woman ever to be on the U.S. shooting team. In 1976, she also silver medaled at the uh, Summer Olympics. She was the first woman to win a medal in shooting at the Summer Olympics. And from what I understand, again, just trying to discover this stuff online, uh, I think she tied for with her uh, team captain. And since the, ca the captain requested a shoot-off, the Olympic rules didn't allow it. So for whatever reason, they made her second place whenever they were handing out the medals. If I understand it correctly, he pulled her up onto the first place podium with her. So he acknowledged that they won gold together. But the Olympics suggest she's the first one to, to win a gold, to win a medal, and it was a silver medal at the 76 Olympics. In 77, she retired from competitive shooting at 35 years old, and then she became a registered nurse. In 92, she was named to the U.S. International Shooting Hall of Fame. Uh, in international competition, she set four individual world records and nine team world records. And she's a member of the of five U.S. or five Halls of Fame, including the U.S. Shooting Sports Hall of Fame and the Kansas Sports Hall of Fame. So this is what research I could do online. Hopefully, we'll inspire people to reach out and interview and get more biographies of women like this. But let us know what you think. This is the first markswoman to win medal in the Olympics. Now they've been shooting firearms in the Olympics since the first modern Olympics in like 1896. There was only one Olympics where there was no shooting and uh, this was a little piece of history. We've got one more coming up from another, uh, the first woman to win gold at the Olympics. But uh, if you know more um, women athletes, shooters that we could include in this series, let us know in the comments. If you know about Margaret Thompson Murdoch, Leave us some comments below wherever you happen to see this video, if it's on GunStreamer.com or GunTube.org. And until next time, thanks to our Patreons for giving us the time to work on these projects, and thank you for watching. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.